The Dresden Symphonica gives a spectacular concert from five side door steamers cruising the Elbe River. The historic riverboats sound their whistles as the soloists in a piece titled Vapora Fortis or Strong Steam. This project is a good way to get people to attend who wouldn't normally come to our concerts. We're giving a real concert on the Elbe River. This premiere is the zenith of a musical tour entitled Elbe Caravan. Around midday, the orchestra musicians start carrying their instruments into seven smaller boats in Dresden's Pilnitz district. It's imperative to demonstrate that music has not been forgotten, but plays an important part in our lives. Over the next few hours, they'll be performing at a total of 18 landing stages. A brass trio floats past, much to the amusement of strollers on the waterfront. But the stars of the show are the side wheelers themselves. During the day, they carry tourists up and down the Elbe. Marcus Rindt turns the steamboats into floating instruments and in the process creates a new concert format. It evokes all kinds of associations in people's minds. Wow, side wheelers and concert, how does that work? How does it sound? It must be loud. To be honest, we don't know yet ourselves. They were obliged to rehearse on dry land as the paddle wheel steamboats are nearly 140 year old originals. One of them still even has a stoker to shovel coal under the boiler. This evening, Captain Andreas Weber of the Dresden will make his debut as a steaming soloist. I've always secretly wanted to do something like this, get creative and use these steam whistles and this old steamer to do something artistic. When I heard about the project, I was pleasantly surprised. To help Andreas Weber sail through every performance, David Terracona stands by as one of five subconductors assisting the side wheeler skippers during the concert. The final run through. Full, three short blasts, stand by. One stop, two stop, three stop. Right, that's it. The orchestra actually sits on the shore on one side and I can neither see nor hear them. So the orchestra gets picked up by radio and sent direct to my ear. That's how I follow where we are in the score. That way, I can read along and at the right moment, give the captain a signal when it's time for him to pull on the horn. The Dresdner Symphonica is known for performing contemporary music in offbeat venues. In 2020, they gave a concert for Alporns from the rooftop of a high-rise development in Dresden. In 2017, they played in Mexico at the border to the United States under the slogan, tear down this wall, to protest plans by the former US administration to build a wall. Back in Dresden, the musicians form up on the deck of a transport ship that's been converted to a floating stage. The musicians and the conductor Premil Petrovich just have time for a quick sound check outside the rehearsal room. All they know is they have to make it loud. Whether you hear the left or the right side or the woodwinds or the brass section is an experiment. Added to that are the five other conductors and the steamboats. But to be honest, so far, all the crazy ideas of the Dresdner Symphonica have worked out. An hour later, the five side wheelers have maneuvered the symphony orchestra into position. And they strike up the opening notes. Classic concert on side wheeler riverboats. What will the Dresdner Symphonica think of next?